Hey everybody, it has been a long, 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 long time since I have been able to provide you guys with an update. I have just been super busy. My career has been keeping me busy. To top it all off, I'm actually starting a doctoral program. I'm going for my Doctor of Education degree. You know, this to get a doctoral degree has been a lifelong dream of mine. And this is the last one. This will be degree number four. So I'm not doing, I, can, I mean, I could get another doctoral degree, but I think I'm done with school after this one. I said that last time, but seriously. Um, as you can see, my hair is progressing, it is really grown um, to the point where, you know, it rests past my shoulders. I've never had hair this long. Like even when it was right here, that was the longest my hair had been. And it's a good, what, maybe six inches longer than that now. It is really getting there. And in the back, it's almost bra strap length. So yay, I'm so excited about that. Um, three and a half years continuing to grow. I am getting lazier and lazier with washing my hair. I haven't washed my hair in three weeks, y'all, but that's because it's just such a hassle to wash my hair. So I just wait to the last minute to wash it. And I still braid and band um, at the request of my, or at the advice of my consultant because, like, look at all of this. I have still have a little bit of slippage at the root, just a tiny bit. My hair is, like, super fine, and this is slippage because my hair has actually gotten finer um, as time has went along. So she recommends that I braid and band to prevent any problems. So it's a pain to braid and band. So I just wash my hair less frequently. It doesn't really do anything. Um, I wanted to come to you today just to tell you that somebody told me that I don't have sister locks. The conversation stemmed from me telling how many locks I have and I know people say why you count your locks it's not that big I counted my locks when I first got them because I was bored and I haven't had any combined I haven't lost any and I haven't had any new ones formed so I still have 369 locks after three and a half years so nothing has changed with my lock count and so I told uh, you know I said I have 369 locks and her response was well did you know you don't have sister locks because you don't have 400 locks and I asked her, I said, well, did you know that 400 number was an average as communicated by Dr. Cornwell? Um, just, you know, and for those of you who are not familiar with, and you're still learning the rules of sister locks, you may see that 400 number pop up as the magic number. That is not an absolute number. That is an average. An average that depends on, you know, several factors. A couple of which are your hair density. And my hair is not super dense. It looks dense because I have a lot of new growth, um, but it's not super dense, you know? It's denser than it's ever been, but it, I've seen people with denser hair. And then also head size. Again, I have a small body. It may look like my head is large, but I have a small head. So not many locks was going to fit on my head. They would have had to be microscopic almost to get like 500 locks. And my locks are a nice size. So they're a decent size. They're not tiny and they're not like super large. They're just the size. I didn't go in asking for a particular size lock, but these are the perfect size um, for me. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, that 400 number is not an absolute, but having less than 400 locks does not exclude you from having sister locks. It is an average, not a threshold. Um, and then I just want to put this in there too. It's rude to tell people that they don't have sister locks if they didn't solicit your advice. So if you are watching this and, you know, everything else is right, but you're worried about your lock count, you know, maybe have a talk with your consultant about it. But to those people who like going around telling people that they don't have sister locks, I used to be like, well, you know, I would want to know. No, that's rude. That is, it's just rude if you're, especially if you're not coming with factual information. So you have to watch whose information you take and what information you take in. If you are fortunate enough to have a consultant that you trust, 
go to your consultant and get that information address concerns to your consultant because it can be very dangerous taking information from people who don't know your head don't know your situation and have never met you um, so because if I wasn't sure that I have sister locks and if I wasn't as knowledgeable about my locks not necessarily everybody else's locks but my locks in particular I would have been a little bit insecure but um, you know I just wanted to tell you guys that thank you for indulging me for all this time don't forget to subscribe to my page please and bring others to the page my page is growing it's going slowly especially since I haven't been putting out anything but, you know, feel free to, to bring uh, others to the channel. And also follow me on Instagram, T-E-E-N-U-H-R-E-D-D. -D. Um, I usually post pictures there. And I will talk to you later.